Good Thursday evening, Southeast Texas. Dramatically, sharply, drastically colder weather on the way to our area overnight as a strong cold front drives through our area. And that will result in temperatures as far as high temperatures, which should be around 73 to 75, running anywhere from about 15 to 23 degrees colder than normal Friday through the weekend and Monday before we get, begin a warming trend towards the middle of next week. Low temperatures could run anywhere between 8 and about 17 degrees below normal right on through Tuesday before we start the warming trend. Lows Monday morning, 37, could be patchy frost across our area, specifically up in the lakes area if the winds lay. Normally you should see lows around 54 to 55 degrees. Rainfall, everybody's going to get rain coming up Friday uh, morning between 1 and about 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning, and that'll probably last through a good chunk of the morning. Dry weather on Sunday, and we've been able to drop the rain on Monday. Just does not look like that rain is going to uh, head our way, instead stay out in the Gulf of Mexico. Then Wednesday and Thursday, scattered showers return to the forecast ahead of a front coming up on Friday. Overnight and through the first half of the day, looking at anywhere between about three quarters to maybe one and a half inches of rainfall with this latest cold front expected to move on through. Scattered showers this evening uh, will decrease. Then the line comes on in. And it looks like this line will reach the lakes area roughly around 1, 1 1.30 in the morning, and then temperatures start plunging as northerly winds take hold. Then the front drives on into the lakes area, or into the triangle, I should say, roughly around 3 a.m. If this modeling is correct, it may be a little slower, a little bit faster, but roughly around 3 a.m. And then the winds shift to the north. Look how the temperatures tumble into the 50s and then the 40s. So as long as the rain is falling coming up tomorrow, we'll stay in the 40s. That's the bottom line. So we got to get the rain out of here to warm up. And we stay in the 40s. The rain continues through noontime. It may start decreasing uh, by mid-afternoon. That makes sense to me. We'll stay cloudy. And if the rains do cooperate as what is forecast here, then we could warm back up to around a rebound to around 50 degrees coming up tomorrow afternoon. Regardless, it's going to be cold. It's going to be windy. Bundle up. Layers work best. Otherwise, could be looking at wind chills coming up Saturday morning into the mid to upper 30s. Obviously not the day to go out on the Gulf of Mexico tomorrow. Tonight, after about midnight, uh, one to about three is uh, when we'll see the strongest showers and storms as that line moves on through. Uh, everybody's going to get rain. Mid 40s in the lakes areas, the wind shift to the north and the mid to upper 40s by 6 a.m. in the morning here in the triangle. Winds could gust 35 miles an hour. Tomorrow, okay, it could be colder than what I have. It all depends on when the rains move out tomorrow. We expect temperatures to remain in the 40s in the lakes area. We might get back up to near 50 here in the triangle, but look at what we're looking at. We'll go from near 70 during the wee hours of the morning here in the triangle down into the 40s, stay into the 40s, and then as the rains move out, we may warm back up to near 50 degrees. So that's what we're expecting coming up tomorrow. Otherwise, we probably will see wind chills, uh, say Saturday morning, uh, into the mid to upper 30s. This is wind chill. This is not actual temperature. Difference between that. We'll see about uh, low to mid 40s coming up Saturday morning. High only 53 to 55, maybe an isolated shower, lots of clouds. Sunday, another cold morning, high of 56. Then Monday, unbelievable. How about 37 degrees in Beaumont? Could be 34, 35 in the lakes area if the clouds thin out. So if this materializes, we've gone back and looked at since all the data since 1901. Here are the top five coldest starts to spring since 1901. 1965 was the coldest morning or the coldest uh, start to spring, had an average temperature of 39.5. That's 51 plus 28 divided by two, you get 39.5. So that's the coldest start to spring was in 1965. If the forecast validates and verifies, then we may have a new third coldest. We're forecasting 37 and 57 coming up on Monday. That would be 47 degrees average temperature. So a new record or new uh, top uh, five spot, uh, third coldest start to spring since 1901 is possible in Southeast Texas. Otherwise, we begin a warming trend as we head on into Tuesday and induce or in, introduce a scattering of showers, maybe some thunderstorms for Thursday into Friday with another cold front 
then a nice uh, little cool down, at least some drier air filters on in by Saturday of next week. Download our app, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and as always, there's more weather at 12newsnow.com.